Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am filming a huge boohoo haul which I am so excited about because I honestly feel like I haven't uploaded a haul in ages. I mean it's probably been like what a month but to me it feels like forever. So I'm going to show you what I picked up from Boohoo. This stuff in this haul was kind of gifted to me by Hoohoo, by Hoohoo, by Hoohoo. This stuff was kind of gifted to me by Boohoo so thank you so much for that and also there is a discount code that can get you money off your order if you're placing a Boohoo order and um, so I'll leave that on screen as well if you want to get any money off your order then just use that code and you should get some money off but let's just get straight into it and show you what i picked up this top as well is actually from boohoo it's like from one of my last boohoo hauls it's like one of my favorite tops ever i wear it all the time so i will link this down below i just yeah i love this top so i will link that down below as well this is from boohoo but i'm just going to show you what i picked up i just pick up a lot of summer dresses just like easy throw on pieces okay so the first thing i picked up was this mustard floral dress i love mustard clothing i feel like it just looks nice with all hair colors but this is just a really easy throw on dress it's like a v-neck dress that you tie here like across your boob area uh, but i feel like this just would look really nice if you had big boobs like it's like a v and then you can like tie it and kind of push them together can't relate because i've got nothing but if you've got big boobs, I feel like this would look really nice on you. And then it cinches in around the waist and then flows back out like a little skater skirt. These dresses are so easy to put on with just like white sandals or even like white trainers as well. Flattering, you can eat what you want. Cinches in around the waist, which is what I like, and like dresses and stuff. But then flows back out. So you're not wearing like a bodycon where you feel awkward to eat or anything. Just an easy, flattering dress. It's quite a thin material. It doesn't look like it's going to be see-through but it is like a thin um, material so really breathable for the summertime but yeah i just thought this was a really nice easy dress to go for like drinks in or to go to the park or to the pub or something like that it's just a really easy dress again i've got another yellow floral dress i feel like there's definitely gonna be a theme to this haul but it is again a v-neck but i don't know if you're gonna be able to see in the camera but it has like a ruched waist can you see that it's so nice like a really thick material that's all ruched so it ruches in around your waist area it's also a long sleeve as well which i think looks really nice and then it just flows out i feel like this is really hard to see but obviously you'll see the try and clip what it looks like also i have tried all of this stuff on already um so i know like what it looks like on so i can actually tell you whether i like it or not um, this is really nice i really like it i think this is something that i definitely would wear to like a dinner um maybe like a summer evening like dinner like i don't know i just feel like it's long sleeve but it's still summery i don't know what i'm saying i really liked this it's also a really thin material again not see-through but thin enough where it's going to be really breathable and easy to put on even though it's long sleeves um so i feel like yeah you could wear this in the evening if it was a bit chillier you could wear this because of the long sleeves love the colors also really flattering like i said as it cinches in around the waist it has got a zip down the side so it's really easy to get into the dress as well yeah again just a nice floral dress to have like dinner in i feel like it's a really easy piece another dress um this was actually my favorite that i tried on yesterday i absolutely love this dress i'm kind of picturing it for work but also obviously you could wear it anywhere you wanted to but it is a polka dot dress and it has buttons pretty much all does it have it all the way down the dress yeah it has buttons the whole way down the dress and then the waist has like this thicker material you can kind of see this like got this lining around it so it really draws attention to your waist and it's not super tight around your waist it kind of flows um but does go in does that make sense like it's not like a really tight sucky material around your waist um but it does go in so it is really flattering but you can also eat a lot because it just sort of hangs it hangs but flatters i am the worst at explaining stuff but you will probably be able to see in the try and clip but it also is v-neck i can just picture this to work with just like some black sandals but like this is a perfect work dress in the summertime but also again going to the pub for some drinks and stuff with some white sandals will look really nice this was definitely my favorite um item from the haul i just thought it was really nice and flattering also i got everything i'm pretty sure in a size eight yeah, this is a size 8 and so were the other two dresses as well. Okay, the next thing I picked up was some joggers. I felt like I had to pick up joggers in like every single haul that I do. But I actually don't own that many. I think I own like three, maybe four. Which isn't that many considering how much we're sort of wearing joggers at the minute. Um, so I just got these grey oversized joggers. These are actually really oversized. I find that like a lot of oversized joggers aren't. And um, I don't like like a leggingy jogger if you know what i mean but these are very oversized and um, i did get them in a size small i was debating a, um, a medium so i'm really glad i didn't get medium because they are definitely oversized i did have to roll them up at the bottom just because they were a little bit long for me like they bagged a lot um but just like one roll up 
one roll up is fine. They're also really high waisted as well because I love wearing joggers with like crop tops just to pop out to the shops or go for a walk or something. Joggers are like a white crop top or like a top like this is really nice. So I like to have it with um, a high waist. Also cinches in at the waist, the drawstring. Yeah, pretty simple really. Just a really good pair of joggers and very soft inside as well. But like you can never have too many joggers so i wanted to pick up another pair of them another floral dress that i picked up i just i wanted some easy like throw on pieces you know now that it's getting hot i feel like i don't have anything like that i mean i probably do i should just sort my wardrobe out but anyway this is going to be hard to show because it's actually a wrap dress so it's kind of hard to show just hang in what has happened but I love the colours in this dress. It's like a really nice ivory colour. And then the flowers, obviously green and pink. I just think it looks really pretty. It's a v-neck with a ruffle around the neck. And then it cinches around the waist. Not a really good example here, but it's hard to show. But it cinches around the waist with a tie and then flows back out. And the bottom of the dress has a little ruffle as well. This is like the perfect dress for throw on for like a lunch or if you're going for a walk somewhere. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going away with my boyfriend this weekend just for a couple of days. So this is like the perfect summer dress just to throw on with some white sandals just really easy again i got this in a size eight this is almost like a silky material the material is slightly different it's almost like silky but not quite really nice really comfortable so i loved that okay the next dress i'm pretty sure this is the last dress so if you're not interested in dresses the next bit of the haul could probably be for you but i don't know why i picked this dress up to be honest with you like it's so not my style but i keep seeing girls wearing stuff like this on instagram and then putting like a chunky black belt around the waist and i don't know i thought i'd give it a go but it's one of these brodery brodery not sure how to say it um white dresses so it is a round neck with like these puffy sleeves and then it goes down in like pleats um and it kind of is a is it a shift dress which just kind of goes out like it doesn't cinch you around your waist which isn't like my favorite like i said i like things to be cinched in around my waist but i thought i would try it and then also like i said you can get like a chunky black belt to kind of grunge it up a little bit and um, i got this in a size eight i do like it i just don't know whether it necessarily suits me i don't know if i'd actually want to i don't know i don't know if it's my style i do need to try the black belt because i hadn't actually done that but yeah like i said it's just a round neck and then goes out in pleats i feel like if your style is quite girly as well if you've got quite a feminine style then you probably would really like this dress i just feel like i don't know whether it's really me but it is a really nice dress i again got it in a size eight this is like a cute dress like going to like a picnic with your friends like having like a little white brodery brodery dress on for like a little picnic i think would be really nice um i just need to figure out if it actually suits me because i'm just not sure okay i picked up a couple of pair of jeans as well to try these are what were these called these are the high rise straight leg jean these are very high rise which i appreciate because i hate high rise jeans that are like around my belly button because they're not high rise that's to me that's a mid rise in it yeah, and um, this is definitely a high rise jean, the very high. I love the colour of these. Like, this wash is like my perfect wash of denim, and they just go down straight like that. And then the bottom is like a little bit frayed, which again, I really like. I got these in a size 8. The only thing I would say is they are quite tight for me, like around my bum. Like, they fit my waist, but you know when a pair of jeans sort of squish your bum? So I kind of look like a pancake bum i feel like i'd probably be better off with like a 10 and then a belt to cinch around my waist but i guess it just depends on what your body fit is because my hips are slightly larger than my waist so yeah it just sort of squashed my bum and my hips a little bit and um, the actual jean itself i really like i love that they are like a straight leg jean sometimes i find that straight leg jeans again um they're not they're more like a skinny jean but these are a straight leg jean this is just a crop top and some trainers i feel like straight leg jeans are really in right now um so yeah just a nice alternative to blue skinny jean next thing i picked up is a very plain item but it's actually again one of my favorites from the haul i think it's just a square neck cami top i like how the straps are a bit thicker i feel like it looks a little bit more dressy this was just like the straight leg jeans and then a pair of black um, strappy heels or clear heels with a clutch. It's really nice for drinks. There's something about just a square neck cami that I feel like you can make look quite dressy. But I love how the strap's a little bit thicker. This is also ribbed, by the way. And then I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see, but it has this like ruching, in, like by the boob bit, like in between your boobs, which is actually really flattering. Even if you're like smaller chested like me, it's a really flattering. And then also it's not cropped, which I love because I, like I said, I like to like tuck it into like straight leg jeans with some heels, like a little night out, not really a night out, more like drinks out. Um, or again, just tuck in some denim shorts with some trainers. I feel like it would look really cool. I just love plain tops like this. I feel like these are way more my style. And put on like loads of gold jewellery. 
yeah just a bit of me really so this was definitely one of my favorite things from the haul and again i got this in a size eight also it's quite a thin rooted material but it's not um see-through like you can probably see it's not see-through which is good again i picked up another pair of jeans i see a lot of people wear these sort of jeans on instagram so i wanted to try them out it's basically when they've got a big sort of rip in just one knee and then they're also uh are they wide leg or straight leg they say it's straight leg but they are slightly wider than the other pair of jeans that i've got and they just go all the way to the ankle in like a normal cut at the bottom again absolutely love this wash of jeans it's like my favorite color of jeans they do look really cool like i said i see this a lot on instagram like girls wearing this with like chunky trainers and then a crop top i think would look really cool again the only thing i would say is that it's a little bit tight for me like around my bum hip area um kind of squashes it i don't know whether it like necessarily flatters me so i'm not sure whether i would need a 10 like i said and get a belt but the actual jean itself i really really like they're a really cool pair of jeans the length is like perfect they go to my ankle to my ankle um and i'm five foot five five foot four um so they fit really well on my height and also the rip isn't too big where it's like your literal whole leg is hanging out the jean it's just your knee which is good because sometimes ripped jeans i feel like it can literally be like your whole leg is hanging out but it's a really good ripped um size rip size but yeah i did really like them jeans the next thing i picked up was a belt because i feel like in every haul i say that i don't actually own a belt um i usually will use like my mum's belt if i need one so i thought you know what i think it's time to pick up my own belt so i just got a plain one i prefer more like a plainer looking belt it's just a black um faux leather belt and then it has this plain gold buckle like i said i always wear like gold jewelry and stuff so i thought the gold would probably be best and i like how it's just plain like it's just a simple belt like it's not loads to it it's not going to draw loads of attention to but it's just to literally cinch in whatever you're wearing also should probably try this with the white dress um, and since around the waist that might look quite cool it's a good thickness as well it's not too thick but then i don't really like really thin belts either like on jeans and stuff but this is like a nice um length width and this is the oval buckle boyfriend belt black it is one size i tried it on i do need to pierce another hole in it to be fair there's a lot of holes so it can suit a lot of sizes but i do need to pierce one more hole in it just because it doesn't sort of cinch me in as much as i want it to cinch me in but yeah just an easy affordable belt so i finally have a belt so i can stop saying in my hauls that i don't have belts to put on like short denim shorts and stuff because i own a belt okay on to the last few bits now um i picked up these cycling shorts and i picked these up because they are called the double layer high waist cycling shorts so i thought oh double layer like no one likes see-through cycling shorts but the only thing is these are not high waisted um i thought they were but they're not they're just like a normal like not low rise what do you even call it like a mid rise it's not high rated basically which i don't personally like on me i don't think it flatters me the cycling short itself is an amazing material i really wish these were high rated because it's so thick and slinky you just know they're going to wash really well because even like some cycling shorts aren't see-through but then you wash them a couple of times and they've gone see-through but these are thick double layered um but they're not high waisted i know not everyone loves high waisted stuff like it doesn't always flatter everyone to have like something around your waist um like yeah, some people might not just always want high waisted. So if you don't care about that, then these are a really nice thick cycling short. But personally, for me, um, I like to have like a high waisted cycling short because otherwise, I don't know, I just I don't feel comfortable. So yeah, really nice pair of cycling shorts, but not if you are more of like a high waisted gal because these are mid rise. I think it's called mid-rise okay the next thing again really simple i just got an oversized black t-shirt to go the cycling shorts but like i said um they aren't high-waisted but i would wear these with cycling shorts or even just tucked into them gray joggers and like a chill day tucked into denim shorts i thought that would look really cool i love plainer outfits just like wearing this tucked into some denim like blue denim shorts and some black trainers would just be my sort of outfit really so i need a lot of stuff like this um i got this in a size small um it is oversized but not majorly i feel like i could have even got a medium to wear with cycling shorts but i guess it depends what sort of oversized fit that you like but i'll get tons of wear out of this like i will wear this all the time it's just an easy staple and then the last thing that i picked up was again black and plain because that's like my favorite thing to wear um it's just a round neck bodycon dress with short sleeves but it has like a tire waist so even though it's bodycon you can draw like more attention to your waist and really like tie it around there so it really cinches in again just love stuff like this it's just plain but also a little bit more dresses so if you're going out for like pub drinks pub garden i like to wear like plain bodycons because i don't feel overdressed 
but I still feel a bit, you know, a bit more done up. It's like a bodycon. I don't know if that's just me, but that's how I feel. It's also ribbed. It is a slightly thin material, so I feel like you would have to wear black underwear under this. But if I'm wearing a black dress, I'll wear a black underwear anyway. I wouldn't wear white underwear under a black dress. I don't know. This with some black trainers, hair down, like some makeup. I feel like you can really glam it up. Like it's If you don't want to look super overdressed for something, something like this is perfect. And then just put like a nice full face on. Even heels. I feel like you can wear this with heels as well. I really liked this on as well. And I got this in a size 8. Did I say that? I can't remember. But yeah, that is the last thing that I picked up from Boohoo. So that's everything that I picked up from Boohoo. I will link everything down below along with the discount code if you're interested in anything. But I really hope you enjoyed. I'm happy to be doing another haul. I did do another I did a Zara order the other day, so there will be another haul coming because the hauls are just my favourite. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see any other hauls that I've got coming up. And I will see you in my next video.